Beautiful ones, I am Bird Mejia. Welcome to another episode of my Soulmate Twin Flame series. In this video, I'm going to answer a question somebody had. If you have questions, drop me a comment and I will answer them eventually in a video for you. All right, this one was, he wanted to know if a Twin Flame connection has to be that intense. Does it have to be so intense that you have that runner chaser dynamic? Because what he said is he wanting something that, a connection that is beautiful, but it doesn't dive in so deep so quickly. Well, the answer to that is usually if it's a twin flame relationship, it's going to be that intense. This is by the nature of it. It feels really intense right off the bat. But the other thing is that whether it's a soulmate or a twin flame connection, Yes, eventually you can have something that is not diving in so deep so quickly because the purpose of all relationships is becoming whole. So if you have somebody and it's diving in so deep so quickly, both of you need to take a breath and work on yourselves and becoming whole. Because if you can be working on yourselves and you're not just focused on the intense connection, then you can transmute and transform that, even if it's a twin flame relationship, into a beautiful relationship where it is not diving in so deep, so quickly, and it's so intense. Because you have something that's so intense, like it's the fire. When you have something that's so much fire, eventually it's gonna burn out or somebody's gonna go, like it's too much. So yes you can so i guess it's a yes and a no usually when you first meet a twin it's going to be that intense just by the nature of it but and especially if you are a person that has really been working on becoming whole you can transmute that and change that into something that goes slower you can make that choice and say okay we have this crazy connection but let's Let's become friends at first. Let's go slower at first. Let's not dive right into a sexual union right away because you know that's going to create more fire and more burning in the relationships if it's a twin flame or a soulmate. So you can make choices around that to take things slower, to get to know each other, to work on you and that person works on them to, becoming, to become whole. So you can transmute that and change that so it's not so intense. All right, so that is my question to that. And you know, another thing too is that you can meet a soulmate. A soulmate, I love soulmates. Like soulmates to me, you just have a good vibe with them. Like it's an instant connection. Like you feel like you've known them, but it can just be good vibe. And with a soulmate, you can just take things slower. It doesn't have to be so crazy intense. But it's still a learning and a growing, and it's a beautiful union. But you can have that deep diving relationship that doesn't dive so deep, so quickly, and so intense. So that is um, something you can do with a soulmate. I, I love my soulmates. I think those are, connections are beautiful. So that's my answer to that question. If you have more ants, more questions around that, and person, the beautiful person that asked this. If you have more questions, you want me to explain more, just let me know. All right, please subscribe, let other people know, and let me know what other questions you have on Twin Flames and Soul Mates. All right, beautiful ones, you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are amazing. Yes, you are more powerful than you know. You are lovable and you are loved. I love you. Have a beautiful day.